So your shin started to hurt, maybe after running, jumping, falling, or maybe you twisted your ankle. Here's what it could be and what to do about it. Let me save you some time. We will quickly review the anatomy of the shin, the muscles, and ligaments, then what exercises or modalities to use, and what symptoms are common with shin splints and stress fractures. Before we start, note that everything dictated in this video will be in the description below, along with helpful, more in-depth videos that are from reputable sources. If you find this video to be helpful and time-saving, please drop a like, subscribe, and if you feel inclined, send me a dollar through PayPal so I can buy a morning coffee. <laughs> First, let's start with the anatomy. Your tibia and fibula is held together primarily by an interosseous membrane. Above this membrane, you will find a small sesame seed-shaped bone called a patella. The patella is inside your quadricep tendon. This bone serves as a lever that helps your muscles work more efficiently, as seen here. If you're having pain in your knee, I will be making a video specific to that soon. However, if you have developed inflammation or your knee starts to pop after a direct blow, then a doctor's visit is probably the smart move. If you're having sharp pains below the knee in your lower leg and you aren't sure if it's your muscles or bone, it may be one of two things, either shin splints or a stress fracture. Shin splints is usually muscular and very common in runners. Typical symptoms is that you'll be able to find a specific spot where the pain starts and ends. The muscle involved is anterior tibialis. It's right under the skin, so it's a superficial muscle. This muscle is responsible for bringing your foot up and in. Doing this movement typically reproduces the pain. Please note that when you walk or run, this requires your foot to come up and in, so that your toes don't bite the floor. You may need to rest this muscle for a couple of days if just walking creates issues. The typical pain pattern comes from the inner or outer portion near the middle blade of your leg and will most likely be tight and more painful in the morning when you wake up. You can massage it or stretch it or do some eversion ankle exercises. You can Google some online. Some research by Irene Davis has shown that running with your forefoot instead of heel toe may help decrease and prevent this pain by offloading the weight from the knee joint more so to the ankle joint. However, this is not a proven fact. If pain increases with stretching and eversion exercises, please stop them completely. You'll most likely need more rest and ice. Avoid using ice for longer than 9 minutes as this may swell the ankle even more and prevent blood flow to the ankle. The anterior tibialis is probably a little torn and the only way out is to rest it or do some eversion isometrics. Please Google it. Always consult a doctor if your pain is uncontrolled. This is not medical advice. Number two, a stress fracture. A stress fracture involves not the muscle, but more so the bone. If the pain increases throughout the day and is typically aggravated by weight-bearing activities like standing, walking, running, and jumping, then you may have a small fracture. Quick fact, if you have osteoporosis, you are more prone to stress fractures. An x-ray will confirm a fracture, and you'll need to rest it until it fully heals and is either pain-free or confirmed healed by your doctor. Analysis of your x-ray will determine what needs to be done. Exercises will usually begin with low-impact activities like walking, cycling, and slowly work your way up to lunges, then weights. Basically avoid a high-velocity activity or activities that require high impact with your legs. Thank you for watching.